Hey guys, TBL here with uh, something different for you this time. We're playing, as you can see, we're playing Starbound. Uh, this is my good buddy here. I'm going to give him a nice little read-in. You, if you've been following me for, you know, any time more than about a year or so, you should remember him. He's a good old buddy of mine. He's been, uh, we've been friends for about, oh man, almost coming up on seven years now. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I used to work, uh, I used to collaborate with him on a lot of other projects. You might have followed my other channel, EOTW Podcast, which is really his channel that I used to make videos for. My channel. This fish, guy's channel. Fish, fish. <laughs> did all the work for that channel. But you anyway, did. this is, this man is a legend in uh, my eyes and the eyes of many other gamers. His birth was prophesized by druids, and it was heralded by by pygmies. Yes, they screechingly heralded his this man's birth right here. Go ahead and introduce yourself, buddy. Uh, I'm Nate. <laughs> that that would be his name. His name is Nate. Hello, my name is Nate. Uh, you might know me as the Nardist. Uh, I had a YouTube channel for a while called EOTW Podcast and a website called EOTWPodcast.com. I hijack which... both, by the way. I do that. Ha! Starbound! So yeah, we are playing Starbound, and that is Nate. As a don't don't mind the hole that wasn't that's not here any that's longer. Not here any, the, the hole that isn't there. Um, so we're currently on a planet that uh, rains meteors down every morning. It's also so, a desert planet, so we named it Tatooine. Yes. But uh, so I we're fortifying. Yeah, it's kind of necessary. We had to build several walls of dirt on, on top of the house. But it doesn't anyway. look pretty, but it'll keep us alive. Yeah, yeah, it'll it, it, it does the job. Oh, anyway, check it out. I brought us I, a souvenir. I suppose some of you guys out there might be wondering what a Starbound is. Well, it's kind of like a Terraria clone, which in itself was kind of like a 2D... What is this? Is this is this snow? Yeah, I got it from that frozen planet. Cool, so now we have a snow dirt house. But um, it, it's kind of like a Terraria clone, which, you know, Terraria in itself was a kind of like a 2D Minecraft. But uh, you're, you're kind of sent out into space. You're the last survivor of whatever race you start out as. You can start... what? There's like, what, six or seven races? Yeah, there's human, apex, um, florin, uh, avian, and I think there's like two more. Well, as you can see, I picked uh, I picked human. His name is and Falcon. I picked, I picked florin. My name's Peace Lord. His name is Peace Lord. Don't let that fool you, though. He is a bloodthirsty murderer. He's robbed and pillaged at least three houses thus far. I would put a stop to it, but as you can see, my angsty anime you can't duel stop building. peace lord you can only stop him with peace actually i uh i've i've decided to give up my evil ways <laughs> and uh Imagine pursue that. the light of justice peace lord pursuing the line of justice so he has become <laughs> my, my my second in command i am the captain here also my last victim was totally super mario that's where i got this wicked cape really yeah from <laughs> super mario world yeah i mean no no that's not cool that was I spilt too much blood on it, and now it doesn't fly anymore. <laughs> it requires happiness and joy, and you took all of that when you killed Mario and took escape. It's a me, Marty! Ah! <laughs> but anyway, so this game is kind of like a, a Terraria clone, but uh, you get to fly through space and explore a bunch of different planets, and it's really pretty cool. Uh, Nate's yeah. the one who kind of got me in on it. I've only been playing it for about a day, but uh, I'm, I'm enjoying <laughs> it thus far. How about you, buddy? Well, at first, I wasn't really digging it because there's there's really a slow grind at the beginning. No diggity. But um, but yeah, so far, I mean, it, it plays better than Terraria does. Like it just it, it feels better, and uh, there's it's a lot more accessible. So uh, yeah, I'm digging it. Yeah. And uh, this cart totally stole it from a uh, a merchant who was um, murdered by monsters. A poor merchant who was caught in the middle of crossfire between a bunch of mur like just murderous monsters sitting out here and that guy peace lord didn't save her no he nope. did not he just i am however sleeping in the buff in her cart so so yeah so there's that anyway so you know the kind of basis of this game is to go around and explore different planets uh, dig through them find resources like ore and crap like that and uh try not to die but there's no point in trying not to die because you're going to die in this game. Check out my pimp axe. That 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 is a pimp axe. <laughs> it's like a pickaxe, but pimp. But pimp, it it, it pimps. Like, oh. see, there's a monster down there chasing Peace Lord, and I'm I'm not gonna save him. 
It's all I right. I killed him with my wicked bubbles. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. You got yourself. What is that? A bubble sword? It shoots bubbles with each swing. With each swing. And it's, it's not its all attack either. It, it it shoots bubbles. That's uh, pretty impressive. Is that gold? Ooh, check out. There's one of those big capsules. Well, too bad. I'm going for gold. Anyway, as you can see, this game it's heavily based on exploration. And it's been pretty fun thus far, you know? It's uh, We've gone through a couple worlds, had a couple of adventures. It's very much Terraria. It is. Like, keep saying that, but it is really, really Terraria. Yeah, it's pretty much Terraria in space. And, uh, and to honor the Terraria in space theme, we had to uh, pick Star Trek roles. I am the captain. He is uh, Mr. Spark. Because we I am Mr. Spark. Spock, but I can use the captain, and I am the captain. I have uh, glorious relations with the women of every planet I visit, and he murders without a conscience. Yeah. It's a good, uh, I, whoa, I've what killed, is, uh-oh, uh -oh. I've killed three women uh -oh. so far. Time for angsty anime big sword mode. Yeah, works every time. You've and you didn't even have to split it from one bigger sword. No, it's, it's like a better version of Cloud's, uh, whatever that tandem sword <laughs> Whatever the thing is that kills Sephiroth. Whatever the Sephiroth killing thing was. As you can see, this, this game's pretty cool. You can dual wield in it, and I've got my, my big anime anime sword right here, my smaller, more powerful anime sword right here. All I'm missing is teenage angst. That's it. Got everything else I need. Sorry, my, my dinner just arrived. <laughs> Your dinner arrived. Was it yes. the souls of someone, children? Someone very nicely brought it to me. That's excellent. I, I'd love it. And then I immediately proceeded to make them feel foolish for walking in during our recording. <laughs> <laughs> so That's I feel totally okay. that right now. Oh, God! What is it? Don't worry. The captain's got it. Uh, yeah, and? let your mighty warrior take care of all this. Mighty warrior? You mean Peace yeah, Lord? Usually I'm an archer, but uh, he found unfortunately we've gotten to the point where like the weapons we find are more powerful than the ones we can create. So Also, his sword is made of bubbles. Actually, it's made of clouds. Can't aim down. Yeah, all the right, combat's so. a little awkward, but... It's easy enough to get used to. What really took me a long time to get used to, other than like, was kind of the floaty jumps. You can pseudo fly in this game. So yeah. You can get a good running start. But because this is space themed, like some planets have higher gravity than others, we've noticed. Which I thought was really cool when we went to. I, I don't remember. These planets don't really have normal. It was like names. Alpha, Beta, Sigma, Alpha, Max, Beta, or Sig, 2, Theta, Z, Zeta. We already said Zeta, but <laughs> it had lower gravity than the other planets, so you couldn't jump as high, which I thought was a really nice touch. Me too. Wow, is that more gold? But so we kind no. of... Uh, we is... don't really need materials, though. We need to get back into space. We need to use your super chip to get to us to it, like a really cool planet. Sorry, but I'm the captain, and I say we need... Oh, this is copper ore. I have been tricked. My eyes betrayed me. I thought it was gold. Oh. We need to make you an up uh, a set of copper armor. Oh yeah, I uh, don't have any armor. I'm just wearing base base clothing for my uh, my race. Armed with your flashlight and your uh, and my, my your snow soldier cap. Don't forget the uh, anime swords. Anime swords. That looks like it's ripped straight out of Disgaea. There's a sword that's exactly like that in Disgaea. The and you know what's funny about this? This giant weapon here is a hunting knife. It's yeah, a I knife. Know. I mean, that's the other reason why it looks like Disgaea because in Disgaea all the weapons are like ridiculously proportioned. How Japan does it get? Come on. Like there's a knife that's that big, but the katana is just as big as the knife. Makes perfect sense, right? Oh, by the way. Yep. Um. Uh, uh, there you go. Oh, more copper. Thanks. You're welcome. Woo! This is hot. Oh, don't we need to take this? Uh metalworking bench with us? We definitely want to, unless we want to fight another UFO to get one. Yeah, okay, so this is the, the second planet we've conquered together. The first was on my home planet. And uh, over the course of this game, there's a couple of uh, mission objectives you have to cover in the beginning. And it leads up to making a distress beacon so that you can hail other ships to come and help you, since you know your ship starts off out of fuel and you're kind of sta or stranded. Well, Unfortunately for us, that ship was filled with ravenous penguins, which proceeded to bombard our planet and our house with tanks, little, mortar little, shells, and little and mini soldier penguins with AK-47s. I'm AK not even—I'm not even making this up. I wish I had recorded it, 
but there were little mini penguins with AK-47s blowing up our house, and we had to fight an epic final battle against the mothership, destroy it, and take its molten core, with which we made this metalworking bench right here. We then proceeded to kill Mother Brain and save the galaxy from the Metroids. But the last Metroid is in captivity, and blah blah blah, it's turning nighttime here, so we should probably get out of here. Yeah. As we uh, stated before, this planet has a nasty habit of uh, dropping meteors out of nowhere onto... I'm uh, just taking one last look around. I don't think there's anything else we need to take. Nope. Maybe the table right. or something. But, Beaming uh, up. Beam me up, Scotty. Because I'm the captain, and I get to say that now. This is my room. You you don't have a room. Oh, wait, no, yes, you're in your ship. Okay, I'm well, in my I'm, ship. I'm on my ship. My ship has all the cool stuff. It's got a little workbench, and uh, I don't know what this is, but this is a cabinet, and you can open it up, and you can put things in it. Like, see, I have gold and silver and silver. Oh. This is our base of operations. You haven't made use of your ship storage yet. Ship storage? Oh, yeah. yeah, this thing. I completely forgot you could drop stuff in there. Maybe another time. Yeah. All right, so uh, this is uh, the ship's fuel compartment. You come here, and you drop a... Uh, fuel, which in this game is coal. That's right. <laughs> Super futuristic spaceship runs on coal. I, I figure that one out. Captain! So, you may Set speak. course for adventure. Setting course for adventure. See, we both have cool announcer voices, so we can do that kind of thing. <laughs> or better yet, you can go into like an Elmo voice, and you can be our ship's navigator. All right, so from here, no, no <laughs> I'm not just, doing that. just no, no. <laughs> we in space, bitch. Oh man! All right, so from here, you can pick uh, the planets to explore and uh, take a ship to. This is the uh, planet we were on right now. We have christened it Tatooine because its real name is Alpha Zeta Sig fifty three three. A little yeah. bit redundant there. This Frieza was Planet four one nine. Frieza Planet. It is better than Frieza Planet four one nine though. Although Frieza Planet five one six is pretty decent. But uh, <laughs> this is my home planet here. <laughs> and now you can see it too because I stabbed you in the back of the neck. But uh, this was my home planet. It's a little moon orbiting Tatooine here. It's called Alpha Zeta Sig 53 Alpha. Totally not super redundant, but we're going to hit off random. And this is the star map. And we're going to try to find ourselves something uh, a little different. We're still in the Alpha sector. That's what the A there is for. And then the Beta sector is here. We're going to stick in the Alpha sector because I don't want to use up all our fuel. And... Uh, how about Alpha Lumens 29? Interesting. Check out the dangerous level. The danger. I think all the danger levels right now, uh, the threat levels, basically what that is, is uh, it's over here. Well, you can't really see it when I'm not looking at it, but a threat level tells you the level strength of the enemies that you'll find on that planet. This is a threat level 1, so it's going to be pretty easy for us to handle. We want to No, we want to find one that's threat level 2. I don't know if I can find any of those. I haven't found any uh, threat level 2s. Let me wiki it. Okay, cool. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to continue looking around the uh, universe and see if, seeing if I can find something decent. Okay. Oh, Alpha, Alpha Marinius 595. It's circling a sun, and it's a snow level. That's cool. Nice. See, as you can see, there's a, each, each world has its own biome. Like, this one is an arid biome, so it's kind of like a desert planet. This one is a forest biome, so it's kind of like a... The forest moon of Endor, if you want to want to go ahead and reference more Star Wars here. Oh, man, that's going to take up all our fuel. Screw that. Whoa. Okay, I don't care what you say. We're going to the Alpha Asgardian 66 system. Yeah! That's awesome. I can't find... We'll go pick, pick some fruit off of Yggdrasil. <laughs> I can't believe you actually said that right. Oh, wait, no. Oh, man, I made the mistake of backing out. Now i got to find it again. That was just too awesome of a name. Alpha Asgardian. That's cool. Alright, well anyways, I think that's a good enough stopping point for right now. I hope you guys found this video fun. If uh, you want to check out Starbound, it is in open beta right now on uh, Steam. You can pick it up there. I do believe the asking price is $14.99, so check it out if it looks interesting. Also, if you'd like, you can stick around on my channel where I'll be having a couple more uh, Starbound videos coming up. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. As always, I am the Black Link, and that was Nate the Nardist. Stay frosty, guys.